Okay, here we're going to show that the function absolute value of x minus 6 is not differentiable at x is equal to 6. And we'll be using the definition of derivative to do this. So let's see if we have f prime of 6. By definition, this right here is the limit as x approaching 6. And then we have the function f of x minus f of 6 and then divided by x minus 6. And of course, the function is that, so we can write that down. So this is the limit as x approaching 6. Here we have the absolute value of x minus 6. And we will also see what f of 6 is. So let me do it on the side. If we have f of 6, this right here is just the absolute value of 6 minus 6. And of course, work this all inside out, right? So we get absolute value of 0. This is not LOL, okay? Absolute value of 0 is equal to 0. So minus 0, we don't have to write it. And then the bottom is just x minus 6. Now, how do we take care of this? Well, if we put 6 into here and here, we technically get 0 over 0. And we have an absolute value. Technically, it's a piecewise function. And let me remind you guys what it is. Recall, whenever we have an absolute value function, so dx is the inside, the input, if the input is negative, then for the output, we will have to negate the input. So that negative times negative will give you positive. So absolute value of x is equal to negative x under the condition that x is less than 0. And if the inside is positive, then it doesn't matter. You know, just take out the absolute value. So this is if x is greater than 0. And if x happened to be exactly 0, well, that's exactly what we did here. It's just 0. Negative, positive, doesn't matter. Usually we put an equal sign here. So right here, we are just going to check what if we have the, the, the limit as x approaching 6 from the left-hand side and also from the right-hand side. So let's do the left-hand side first. If x is approaching 6 from the negative direction, well, this is just mean that x is a little bit less than 6 and you can just think about it as 5.99 minus 6 hey that would be a negative result inside right so we will have to negate whatever this is so this right here will be the limit as x approaching 6 negative and let's put this as negative parentheses x minus 6 like so and guess what we can reduce this now because Parentheses, parentheses, we can reduce, okay? So cancel, cancel. So in fact, we just get negative 1. So this limit gives us negative 1. On the other hand, if we have the limit as x approaching 6 from the positive direction, this right here will give us positive input. So that means we can just take out the absolute value. So this is just the limit as x approaching 6 from the positive direction, x minus 6 over x minus 6. This looks like a b. No, 6. And then right here, of course, just go ahead and cancel them out, and we end up with positive 1. So what's the conclusion? Well, if we approach 6 from the left-hand side, we get negative 1. If we approach 6 from the right-hand side, we get positive 1. Of course, they are not equal. And the conclusion is that this limit does not exist. So I will just say f prime of 6, which is the definition of, you know, by the definition, is this part right here. This limit does not exist. And you should have put on dots for this one. I don't know why. So that means f is not differentiable at uh, x equal to 6. I think this is enough. And of course, I will also show you guys a picture why um, when we have absolute value, we don't get differentiable everywhere uh, in this case. So let's take a look. If we have absolute value of x, it looks like a v, right? But this is x minus 6 inside. So if we graph absolute value of x minus 6, what's going to happen is that we move the graph to the right six times. So let's say this right here is 6. And then we will just have the graph that looks like this. And as you can see, we have a corner here. 
So when we have a picture, it's much easier to see that if we have a corner, that means the function is not smooth, that means the function is not differentiable. So I'll just say not dable. Not dabled at x equal to 6. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I don't know why I wrote it down as at the very corner. Well, I guess I was talking about, I, I don't know. But anyway, that's it.